Hello. All right, I was requested to show how I make these little 23 exacto blade um, rod heads. And so, it's a quick, going to be a very quick little video because these are incredibly easy. This is the, um, the little 23 exacto blade. You'll notice that this one is slightly different because normally they just have one little hole in the middle slot. I open that up with them. My little mango grinder here, carefully and slowly, and we have a full slot. And we just have a black rhino needle dart, and we just insert it right into the little slot there. Add a little epoxy on. Actually, a couple other little things I do, but we'll show you those. We just need very little of this JB Weld. In fact, actually, I'm probably going to, after the video, have to find another couple quick projects that need some JB Weld. But since those are always around, that won't be difficult to do. <laughs> all right, so we, you know, I'm sure you all know how to mix the JB Weld. But I just thought I'd start from the beginning. Because otherwise, this, I don't know. It's a very, very short video, which it's going to be anyway. So, let's do that. And we got our two little things there. Yes, I know, not completely. I use the JB Weld because it's one of the strongest holding. And it actually works pretty well. But it does take forever to set. This won't be ready to fire until tomorrow sometime, so. 24 hour setting. All right, get a good mixture there going. Other, the other um thing is though with this is it takes so long to set and everything. You got plenty of time to do all this. You got like a day. <laughs> well, not quite, but a good hour of working time, honestly. Once well, a little stiffer, it's actually a little easier. Okay, so what I do here with this black rhino needle dart is I. Make sure it's off the edge. Oh, you probably noticed the cardboard here. Well, that's there for a reason, too. And so it's after it's all sealed, it's easy to clean up and take apart. And what we're doing here is we're putting just a drop of super glue. And yeah, this happens to be JB Weld super glue, but it's super glue. It's the same active ingredient. I just happen to get that because, well, the wife got some from doing her publisher clearinghouse thing and you know and anyway I do that because this is a quick hold and I can um seal the the dart into the um slot and get it pretty darn straight yeah I know there are better ways to do it than getting the super glue on your fingers but I don't mind. Besides, that makes your fingerprints go away, so, you know, if you're into some shenanigans you don't want fingerprints on right after you do this, that would be a good time. Okay, so we have that in there sealed. We try to make it completely centered. There's a little gap on each side of the needle dart. And we mostly put the super glue on the dart and the cardboard. And of course, the back end of the um, then we just work that in all sides. See how quick this is going to be. So it's in there nice and tight. This way, see, we can move it around a little bit and we don't have any kind of problem. All right, we got just a little bit more there. Afterwards, we take a little sanding pad with our drill sander. If we take it down to it, it looks just like that. There we go. So we can see the steel, so it's really just in the gap. And that particular dart, I've probably fired, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 times at least in the styrofoam, mind you. Well, actually, also into that vinyl plastic um, dragon arm. So, in fact, that's what this is went into, mostly. So. They hold up for a while for the practice ones. You know, of course, the ones I use for hunting, I'm 
only going to use those ones, getting my, you can tell that this has been fired a few times, it's starting to lose a little, it's true. But they do that. Okay, that is the end of this video. Well, there you are for those who requested how to make them. They are pretty simple and I think pretty self-explanatory, of course, if I didn't know what I was doing in the first place, which I'm not sure I do. Um, I would want to see it. Okay, there you are. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all later.